This is Kenton Means and Rylan Stiles for the Lone Star Conference. Thank you for joining us. We were here with Aggie women's basketball coach Emma Andrews and fourth year guard Megan Hedge as part of the LSC Basketball Online Media Day. Coach, we'll start with you. First and foremost, back to normal preseason. What have you learned from your team this fall and how different is it to have like full scrimmage and non-conference schedule to look forward to unlike last season? Yeah, this, this fall has been really different for us. Um, last year, we, we barely got some practices in with, with all the rules and, and COVID situations happening. And this year, we've really got to be on the floor and be together. So um, I'm really excited about this group. We've had a, a lot more practices than last year together. And so um, our, our team chemistry, I think, is a little more evident um, at this point than it was last year. Um, but I'm really excited for some scrimmages first. I think that's uh, first and foremost the most important thing. Last year we didn't get those and that opportunity and I'm really looking for somebody else to come and, and challenge us and for us to challenge them and, and to expose some of our weaknesses. Um, I think that's how you get better and ready for uh, preseason play. Megan, in your fourth year, what does it feel like now to probably take on a leadership role with the team? Um, I honestly love being a leader and being able to use my voice for this year. Um, we have quite a new and young group anyway. Um, so it has been good to be able to develop my leadership skills and be able to take on the new girls, um, enter them into this team. They all fit in really nice. Um, everyone's a really hard worker, so it obviously makes it really easy. Megan, I mean, you talked about some of those new players. Who do you who have you seen kind of step up and you think is going to make an impact on the court this season that the conference has to watch out for? <laughs> um, I think Corey is definitely one to watch out for. Um, she's a guy that can do a little bit of everything. Um, and then her really good friend, Jenny, um, she will come in as our five man this year and she will definitely make an impact from the beginning. And Coach, last year you guys are on a huge high, had some ton of momentum at the end of the year to switch up your defense a little bit. How do you carry that momentum from last year to this year? Um, I think the returners um, are a big part of that. Um, most of those returners who were here last year and played a lot in, in that time and when we went on that run returned and um, know what's, what's the expectation of uh, my assistant coach and I and you know, really what our goals are. And so I think carrying that momentum from last year, um, our girls got a little bit of a sniff of getting to play um, in those stressful and big time games and situations. And I know they want it again. And so um, that part was pretty easy um, because they, they led by example. And so for us, we're just continuing. We're still gonna kind of play fast paced defense, um, but because we've had so many practices this year, you know, we, we have a little, um, a couple of different things that we can switch back and forth with, and so I'm excited to see it. So, Coach, you got I me. Mean, you got obviously you've got one of the best players in the conference, and Megan, and a lot of experience coming back with Stephanie and Logan, uh, Whitney. Just like, how is having that group help you going into the season, and where you're picked to the finish is, I mean, top five. So, how does that kind of help you go in there with the expectations of being one of those top five teams? You know, I think for us or, or for me as a coach, we're, we're going to try and not focus too much on those preseason polls. Um, you know, as um, great an honor it is to be recognized and, and picked in that top five, we have a really deep and great conference. And so um, those preseason um, polls can, can kind of get you if you don't just keep focusing on the next game ahead. And so um, I really like our returners. Um, at, at, you know, as I said a little bit earlier, we got great leaders, and so that's made this year a lot easier for me. Um, I do have a great player standing next to me, and you know, um, she doesn't. You know, she's an easy one to coach because she turns up first on the gym floor every day, last one to leave. Very humble, um, just super great kid to coach, and and so I think you know, for all, all the new faces you'll see, this is a great leader to follow, and so it's made it a lot easier. So Megan, freshman year, all conference, all region, all academic. Obviously, the points are all there. Last year, your assists and steals were up. What do you do to take the next step? Or what's the next level for Megan Hedge? Um, I want to continue to add more than my assists and rebounding game, just have like more of an all-round. Um, I think last year, we did a better job defensively, so I could get more steals and stuff too. Um, so I would love to be known for my defense too, not just my offense. Um, so that's one of the main things. Um, and the one thing I've been trying to improve for this year is last year with COVID, it was a little hard. Shooting percentage was a little bit down. So really, I've just been trying to get in the gym, get more confidence in my shot again, and go from there. Coach, what's the ultimate goal of the season? I know the record's always you want to get to the conference tournament, you want to get to the region. What's the ultimate goal for this team, just looking at it as a whole? I mean, you already said you, you have a lot of depth, a lot of talent coming back. What's the goal? Um, ultimately, you know, two things, I think. One is um, I would like to have the highest GPA in our conference. 
Um, we're, we had the highest GPA on campus, you know, this year, but um, for athletics, but it, that's a goal for, for us. Um, I think if you have success off the floor, it, um, you know, transfers onto the floor. And then if I'm being honest, um, I want to get a shot at that championship game. Um, I think we have the group to do that. Um, it's going to take a lot of work. Our conference is very deep, but I want a shot at that game. And I know our kids do too. Megan, you're putting up a lot of guards this year. The team has a ton of guards that you can play on ball, off ball. How do you balance that in a game where sometimes you're going to be the lead ball handler, sometimes you play off ball with that jump shot you talked about? Mm -hmm. um, it really just frees me up to play every position. Um, and same with all the guards coming on the team. Like, no one's just set to a point guard, no one's just set to a guard. So if someone gets the ball in the full court, like, we're going to push it in transition and go for this year. Um, and another good part of that is that we'll be ready to go, like, guards off the bench. Um, so we'll be energized and ready. Thank you, Coach A. Megan, good luck this season. We look forward to it. Thank you.